unlike you candidates for dirt bike lunatic, moto stars, moto madness and the likes, I can count on one hand the near misses I've had in the last six years and I put it down to this one fundamental I'm going to show you that involves one, maybe two fingers and I'll say it for you, that's what she said. Roll the tape. That's exactly why you need to cover the front brake because there's people like that in the world who don't use their indicators and they just pull out on you and now they want to use their indicator. What is up guys? Welcome back to Throttle Tube. I'm Ryan and this is, I guess, Mrs. Tube. But anyway, we are here to talk about braking techniques because I see far too many people on the road not covering their front brake. As you see in all my videos, I always have one finger at least covering my brake and that's because anytime anything should happen I will be ready in an instant to touch some front brake and if you haven't seen the video I just put out on adjusting your brake and clutch levers make sure you do so straight after this video because it goes hand in hand with what I'm talking about because a lot of people don't know that you can adjust them up and down to suit your hand so that way you can reach the brake easier it goes hand in hand with what I'm saying so make sure you check that video out next I'll put a link up here somewhere and as I said before if one person can be saved from learning the technique from one of my videos I'm happy I've done my job now for you guys asking the question I'll let you ask it go ahead Ryan why do we need to cover the brake? I can't keep up the high pitched voice but some of you might be asking Ryan why do we cover the front brake at all times and it's pretty simple the shorter time it takes for you to grab a brake or grab your brakes in an emergency situation the better it might be five meters ten meters one meter that you could have stopped shorter from the time it takes you to grab the brake if you wasn't covering it to if you was and that would be the difference between you being alive and you being dead and i'm sure there are a lot of people that are unnecessarily not with us today because they didn't cover their front brake which is a shame and as i said before if any of these techniques can say someone we you me i have done our job because you're going to share this video and i'm going to tell you what to do so having access to the brake at all times it's just a good safe measure and a good safeguard i see it as sort of like a f you i'm not going to die today button as soon as someone pulls out instantaneously my finger's already on the brake so it's just a simple case of just rolling off and grabbing some brake rather than something has happened i need to let off the throttle panic grab over grab a whole handful of brake and snap that front brake that's where you get front washing out situations you see it all too many times as i said before on the kinds of videos you get on moto madness moto stars etc a lot of these accidents could have been avoided because of the brake so not only do you have the quickest access to your brake when you need it you also have the most control because your finger is already ready to give progressive brake pressure just on day-to-day -day life as well if you're trail braking or going around corners or you're going fast and you want to slow down you'll find you'll get a smoother transition from on the throttle and onto the brakes because as you swap one to the other you can do both at the same time rather than on off gap heavy brake which unsettles the bike any unnecessary janky movement is going to upset the bike and cause a potential accident so if you can load up the brake pressure smoothly and consistently every single time you're going to be able to go faster and safer all because you rest your finger on the brake at all times now i say one finger and that's because my brake is super easy to pull whereas some of you guys might have older bikes or stiffer brakes and you might need two fingers but either way the principle still stands make sure you're comfortable and you get into the habit of braking because as you can see now I'm literally rolling straight onto the brake it's super smooth and super easy a nice Hayabusa well there you have it it's a super simple tip but hopefully covering that lever right there will save someone's bacon that watches this video and I'll be one happy chappy I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.